Many would say that this locomotive design would be the last purely Victorian styled machine built at Swindon Works. At the time these were built, William Dean had been GWR CME for over 17 years. He had quite the reputation for locomotives that were not only elegant and unique, but ones that had bite to go along with the bark. The Great Western Railway Class 7s, more commonly known as the Armstrongs, were a group of only four prototype 440 double frame locomotives built at Swindon Works in 1894. Due to the success of the GWR Dean singles, the 440s were nearly an exact copy. They started off being rebuilds of four Dean experimental locomotives, numbers 7, 8, 14 and 16. Had it not been for the recent derailing of one of Dean's 3001 class 222s in Box Tunnel, these engines would probably have been built as 222s. In any case, they emerged as double-framed 440s, incorporating parts used on the Dean's single 3031 class, including the boilers and front bogies. The four locomotives, with their double-curved running plates, were one of the most elegant machines ever outshot from Swindon Works, and marked an end of pure Victorian-style engineering with names to commemorate some of the most influential men on the Great Western. Number 14 was Charles Saunders, who was Secretary and Superintendent of the Great Western Railway. Number 8 was Gooch, named after the first Superintendent of the GWR, Sir Daniel Gooch. Number 7, Armstrong, was named after the second Superintendent of the GWR, Joseph Armstrong. And number 16, Brunel, was obviously named after one of the most famous civil engineers in history. You probably know his name by now. They would most commonly be seen running express trains between London and Bristol, but with the arrival of George Jackson Churchward and the introduction of his city and star classes, the Armstrongs were displaced to work services north from Wolverhampton. Unfortunately, this would mark the beginning of the end of the class. They were often said to have the style and grace of the singles, but not having the steam or power to follow suit. And given the imminent Churchwood standardisation policy, the class would have a target on them. Between 1915 and 1923, all four were rebuilt into the Great Western's flower class and given standard number two boilers. They would live out the rest of their working lives as station pilots and sometimes handling local traffic on the northern sections. The last survivor was number 4169 Charles Saunders, being withdrawn in 1930.
For more information on the GWR Armstrong 440s and other models available for Train Simulator 2020, visit Caledonia Works online at www.caledoniaworks.com. Thanks for watching.